<laughs> crazy here, don't care. Okay guys, so I just got done putting the posts in of the landscape timbers for the garden. Now this garden is 32 by 40, so it's a pretty decent sized garden. Here's the corner, one side, the end, other side, and this side. And then actually right here is where the gate is going to be. But also to give you guys a better idea of where this is, Here's the house. Walk up this little hill here, through, and over to the garden. So it's nice and close to the house. But for right now, I'm going to mow this little area, make it nice and neat, but also take those grass clippings and put it in our compost. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I got it. I can help you. No, no, Daddy, I got it. Okay, that's enough water for those guys. Good job, Henry. I think that's enough. Killing it with the water game. We're planting some, what are these, 2D snap peas? Yeah, snap peas. Snap peas. The snap peas that snap. Yeah, these are these are sugar and snap peas, and so what we're gonna do is they like to trellis, and so we're gonna have them trellis all the way up. Then they they know it's the light on the air, right? That that. Right. Go all the way up, and they'll vine all the way around this. Pretty. Then they will go from here. Yeah, and then what else are we gonna put in here? Some kale, right? Yeah. You grab a tray over there. Mm -hmm. Right over here, grab one of the Easy. trays for Daddy. Mm -hmm. Then, Hold then on. we get, then we can put it in the back. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. These, the, you can't pull these by the the room. Okay. These will pull off. So this is just kind of like where I've been storing everything, our potting mixes and topsoils and stuff. I have some plants and some starts that I still have to get into the ground over here. Some pepper plants, strawberries, lettuce, lettuce some more beans. And then this is how we've been filling um, our garden beds here. So we've been doing like a layer of logs, bigger logs, and then some sticks, leaves, compost, and then putting a mixture of like potting soil and topsoil or potting soil and garden soil on the top. And so Jake made these planter or made these garden beds. Mm -hmm. They are four by eight. Um, and so we have four of those. And then we have one bigger one in the back. We're gonna put another bigger one on that side and do potatoes in there. Let me show you, let me show you how to. <laughs> <laughs> let me show you um, what we have in our planters or in our in our garden beds. So this one is ready to be filled. We're gonna put a trellis up here and we're gonna put some zucchini to, to be on the trellis and then we're gonna put our strawberries in here with the zucchini. Um, in here we have some snap peas which will climb up this trellis and some different types of kale. Um, in here we have different types of lettuce, romaine, um, I think that's like a Russian red. I think I said that before, but a Russian red and some butter crunch. So all of our onions are in, are planted in here. You just can't see them yet. They haven't sprouted through. Uh, the babies. <laughs> and these are kale, different types of kale in yeah, here. Isn't that white Russian and yeah. black magic? And then we have to, along yeah, the back, magic. along the back of the garden, we have some um, raspberries and blueberries, we're gonna get some blackberries and I want them to 
climb up the fence. One thing I really did want to show too was our green stock garden because I'm so excited about this. So it's basically like a vertical planter. So you can put, this is the um, water reservoir, you can put water up in here and it trickles down into all of the pockets where all of your plants are. Um, and so obviously here we don't have to worry so much about space but this would be perfect for, I mean, I got it because it's beautiful and I'm super excited about it. And I'm giving like each kid um, some pockets or a tier basically to plant their own plants, which is super exciting. But um, if you, you could grow your own food in an apartment, on a balcony, small space, or if you know you have problems with your back or your knees, it's taller you can have it up on something I do have a code um, you can use Maxine 10 to get 10% off so look some of this we started from seed um, and look at the basil it's all doing so well so we have some basil here some sage some thyme lettuce and these are a bunch of strawberry plants this is peas tear she wanted to grow strawberries um, around the back if you go around the back we have tomatoes, which Aiden really wanted to grow. So this is Aiden's tier tomatoes. We have some pepper plants. Um, and so there's two kinds. This is the leaf, which has more tiers and more pockets, but you can get the original, which has deeper um, like pockets, planters, which you can grow even like huge things like zucchini, eggplant. Um, potatoes so it's really cool and, and it's beautiful I've seen some people do um, flowers in theirs like flowers that just overhang the whole thing and it just looks so beautiful I have another one and that's what I want to do with that one so if you want to try your own green stock which I do recommend it comes in a few different colors this is my favorite it's the stone but like I said I do have a code Maxine 10 it'll be linked in the description down below and another thing that I wanted to share is I think we've shared this a little bit about like food um, scarcity and being able to like sustain yourself and this is awesome because like I said anybody can grow their food with something like this it doesn't matter how much space you have you could have a tiny little patio and you could grow a ton of food with this So we're kind of like on a little walk all the babies are in bed and our two youngest are in bed our oldest three are awake still but look at our orchard. It's doing so well. well how am I going to show it? How am I going to show it? <laughs> so, the goal, so the goal with this orchard is to obviously be somewhat like self-sustainable. But it's also beautiful. I'm so excited for it. So I want to have what? We're going to have six apple trees. Mm -hmm. So we have to get two more apple yeah. trees. Then we're going to have three pear trees, three peach trees, and maybe like a couple. Plum. Plums, Plum. I think. But yeah, check it out. So right now it doesn't look like much maybe, but it will. So right now we have I mean, six it, trees. It seems like a lot to us though, because before there was no leaves right. or anything right. on the trees. Well, yeah, because they were basically, well, they were what? Year one year old. trees. So yeah. we have six right now, but obviously Maxine explained our plans, but we have four apple, two pear. Yeah, four so pear. we're gonna do yeah. over here. We're gonna do two more, kind of like in line with these. So we'll have, a, there'll be rows of three. So we'll have three apples, three apples here in the front, another three apples. So we'll have six apples total. And then we'll do three pear, three plum, three peaches. Yeah, so this entire space here will be a nice, beautiful, big orchard, ideally. And hopefully we don't have to fence it in and put a lock around it and because our kids eat all of the apples. <laughs> Which Connor has already said he has caught. Everyone's kind of like, all the kids have kind of like claimed a section of the garden or claimed a plant. And Connor says the apple trees are his. And he's, but they're only his because he's gonna eat them. And he's gonna eat them all, he says. So oh, that's, peaches, that's peaches, gonna be peaches. good. So thank you for hanging with us today and looking at our garden. We are obviously beginner garter, gardeners. I mean, I've never gardened before in my life. But we're super excited about it because we can feed our family and also it's fun. Um, and so we're super excited about it and we will take you along with our gardening adventure and we'll show you next time. <laughs> Do not get him in there with his mullet. <laughs> no, they already saw his mullet. Oh God. <laughs> um, we will take you along on this journey with us and kind of like let you know what we learn 
Um, so if you want to get into gardening, you can. It's really not as scary as it seems. So we are You're learning happy. as we go. So we will kind of teach you guys what we're learning as we learn. So, um, hello. Yeah, so hopefully we can bring some value to you guys as well. And thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, so subscribe. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for hanging with us. Bye. <laughs> So I'm gonna go look at the stuff. So, so, so we have, um, so we have, um, so we got stuff done already. We got that. And here's, see? Um, here's all the gardens and, and let's go see the, and here's, let's go see the apple trees. And the pear trees. And let's go to look at them. So, <laughs> so here are the big hundreds and, and and then there are apple trees and here's some pear trees. And then we also got um like a water table. Ooh, some bucket, bucket, water table. Water table. Alright, let's do this thing. Buckets, buckets. Hey Connor, you showing everybody your mullet? Mm-hmm. Say bye-bye.